was a, a young kid. My dad had a pit bull and uh, I was drowning in the pool and we had a female pit bull and she jumped in and saved me. So ever since, there, ever since then, uh, I love the breed. Uh, they're trustworthy, they'll, they'll, they'll give their life for, for you. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Danielle here and thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my Cali Faces videos. Today I'm in Long Beach, California where I came to meet with Mitch who is part of the House of Blue Pitbulls and he has some of the nicest and the most expensive pitbulls I have ever seen. So he's here, I'm about to talk to him right now about the House of Blue Pitbulls and then he's going to show off his dogs. Check it out. Hey guys, this is Mitch from House of Blue Pitbulls Long Beach. Today with, uh, we're here with Cali Faces demonstrating our dogs, American Bullies, Pit Bulls. So we're putting the dogs in these heavy duty crates uh, because we want to make sure that the dogs are safe and also that people are safe. So we have to make sure that they're always secured. Are they dangerous? No, not dangerous, but we don't know if there's a smaller dog that might try to get aggressive with them or somebody that might be uh, afraid of dogs. We don't want to hurt anybody. Make sure we don't want to make sure the dog is not hurt either. House of Blue Pit Bulls, it's a kennel. And we also have different cities, different chapters uh, that are part of the House of Blue Pit Bulls. It's one big happy family. What are some of the things you do? Basically what, what, what we do is uh, we go to the shows and we compete. We all go together, we set up our canopies, we bring out all our dogs and uh, we show them off. This is House of Blue Pit Bulls Chosen. He's gonna be two years old in December. Black brindle male, good temperament, great dog. How long have you had him? I had, I've had Chosen since he was a puppy. We're gonna be breeding Chosen to both these females uh, pretty soon, sometime, sometime here in the near future. This is House of Blue Pit Bulls Tonka. Tonka is about almost four years old. This uh, female right here is a special female. She uh, has uh, the red red blood in her, which is uh, off of an Ellis dog, but all the background is, is a Chevy Red Dog. It's about uh, a nine times Chevy Red Dog, so very special blood, very special dog to me because uh, the pedigree, which is the ancestry of the dog, yeah, contains a lot of Chevy blood, and the Chevy blood has been washed down through the washed down through the years. So it's really rare to, to find a, a dog of this uh, uh, quality with that type of pedigree. Uh, there's not too many few uh, too many of these dogs left. Most of the, of the of the Chevy blood and Ellis blood is mostly back east, and uh, it's pretty rare to acquire this female. One thing when people go to shows, uh, the judges will always check to see if the dog has a correct bite. And also another thing that the dog has a correct posture, is not no high rear, and also a full tail. This female right here is uh, Tesla. She's gonna be a year old at the end of the month. Uh, she has a, a, a blue coat. I love, I love this female. Uh, I'm not too fond of, 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 the, of the blue color because uh, a lot of blue has been overdone. So hopefully when I breed her to, uh, to Chosen, we'll, we'll get some different colors out of her. In the early 2000s, a lot of people, a lot of breeders and people uh, were into this color. And the, the, blue, the blue coat exploded. It's like a, a big explosion of, of, of blue coats. Now you can see them anywhere. How much do these type of dogs cost? Uh, they can be very expensive. Uh, this female right here, I paid $4,000 for her. This female, female right here, I would say she costs about five, six thousand dollars because of the, of the, of the bloodline that she that, that she carries. This male right here, uh, he's priceless to me. So if somebody walked up to me with ten thousand, fifteen thousand, I would sell him. So, but you probably could get that much for him. He probably could, yeah. To the right buyer, to the right person that that's familiar with the bloodline, that's, that's familiar with the breed, they will. If you would uh, offer that same price to somebody that doesn't know about the breed, they'll think you're crazy. They're expensive because they're, they're not. Uh, cheap dogs to take care of. We gotta consider uh, the dog food, medication. Just on just on food alone, I probably spent maybe like $500 a month just on, on, on food. Wow. Um, we're, always, we're, always, we're always trying to uh, find good deals on food 
uh, and make sure that it's that it's top quality food. And also, we give the dogs uh, vitamins. I give I give them a vitamin shot, a, a B12 shot, about once a week to keep them nice and, and healthy. You can see I, I can stand up with the dog, and he's perfectly fine right here, and uh, not running away, just being a good friendly dog. Um, there is a lot of uh, hype that they're dangerous dogs. Um, it just depends how you how you raise them and how, how you take care of them. Can anybody be a part of the House of Blue Pit Bulls? Um, yeah, anybody can be a part, a part of the House of Blue Pit Bulls, but there are re there are requirements, uh, and uh, one of the main requirements are is for the passion of this type of breed.